guys, the reason is because it's here. It's Friday and it's our uh, weekend project day. So today we will be working on the dog bed. It's crocheted, crocheting dog bed. You see this beautiful dog bed. Uh, I will be using three pounds of brown merino wool. And this is unfelted and spoon merino wool. Uh, some people were asking and it's nice and soft and your dog will be really happy with this beautiful dog bed. Let's get started. Okay, let's start it. So we have working yarn here with the tail and we will start with making a loop. Working yarn goes on the top. Let's get started. We have three pounds of brown or chocolate color merino wool here. And as I mentioned uh, before, it's unfelted and unspooned merino wool. And we will start making our dog bed. We will start with making a loop. This is the end. This is working yarn. We're making a loop like that. And then inside this loop, grab the working yarn and pull it out. This is our first stitch. And now we will make a chain of eight stitches. So right hand goes inside, grab working yarn, two stitches, inside, grab out three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last week I showed you how to make a, do a cat bed. It was round. Uh, today uh, we're making a dog bed and it will be oval. That's why we need this chain. And the crocheting will go uh, around this chain. So how we'll start. You go inside the first stitch with your hand working. The yarn is here. And then you need to go to the first stitch beside the one that you have your hand inside, grab working yarn, pull it through, and then pull it through both stitches. So we're making a single crochet. And then we're doing the same thing in all stitches. So here is the next stitch, the hand is in the last stitch, and the stitch beside, go inside, Grab working yarn, pull it out, grab working yarn, pull it out. This is another single crochet. Going inside, grabbing yarn, and pull it through. Inside, grab, pull it through. Doing the same way to all eight stitches. So here we went through uh, every single stitch with single crochet. So we have uh, now the first row on our chain. Now we came to the side and on the side we will need to make two single crochet in one hole or actually a double crochet. So we are finding the stitch on the side the back side of the stitch. This is the stitch. This is the back side. We're going inside, grab working yarn, and then pull it through. And then we're going the same stitch one more time. This way the crocheting will turn nicely around our chain. Turning your crocheting chain and now we will be using this side of the chain by doing the same as we did on the first row from another side. So we go inside the last stitch. Here is our stitch. Go inside, take it out, grab your working yarn, pull it through. 
second stitch the same way and then we're going the same way to the end we reach the end again and at the end again you are looking for the last stitch and you're using the back of the stitch you can turn this way that it will be easier to crochet and uh, you're going inside and making a double crochet that our crocheting will turn this way so we make a double and then we're going to this side and we're again using the back side of every stitch turning and keep going Okay, so uh, row number three is done. You can see one, two, three from the middle. One, one, two, three. And now uh, we will actually start working on the wall of the dog bed. And dog bed is done uh, a little bit different. The walls of the dog bed, uh, they're done a little bit different than the cat bed. So we will actually start uh, here where the, we ended the last row we will start working on the wall and if you remember from the uh, previous video tutorial it uh, we will be using the whole stitch not the back side of the stitch but all stitch and we will go underneath so hand right hand inside go inside underneath grab working yarn and pull it out and because it's, this is the side, we will do two, uh, if, two double crochets and every stitch and two stitches on the side. One and two. This is very thick merino uh, wool, you can see. So now you can see uh, that our wool is started forming already. And we keep going the same way. We're going underneath, grab working yarn, pull it out, grab working yarn, pull it out. See this beautiful chain forming? So keep working around our dog bed this way. We are moving to the other side. So we're here on the side. This is our last stitch. So this is our dog bed and uh, you can see that it started and it's ending here the same level and now we will turn and go backward over here. We will not go here because it's not a cat bed and uh, dog bed usually don't have the walls around. So what we will be doing, we will change the uh, direction of our of our working yarn and then we will just walk different the backward your hand is in the right right hand in a stitch and then we're going underneath again grabbing working yarn pull it out and we are going around this way all the way 
to the other side where we where we started the wall making. Very sick Marina wool. So you can see this wall is now really uh, obvious, beautiful wall. And here we are at the end. We're approaching the, that stitch where we started making the wall. It's over here. So what we're doing, this uh, stitch, see, it's on the same level. So we're just pulling this stitch out, then we are cutting the merino wool and then we're pulling this cut part through. We have this last piece of uh, wool hanging. So what we're doing, we're just hiding it anywhere here inside any stitch like that. So this is our bed. This is our dog bed. You can see it. this uh, beautiful wall and your dog will really like it. So you can buy this, uh, this or any other merino wool in our store because it does not and uh, stay comfy and be cozy.